Hello, welcome back to another video. I think by the time this video goes up, it'll be like a week or so since I uploaded my last video. Um, I had planned on filming some stuff, but then, I don't know. I just haven't picked up my camera. I kind of go through these phases every now and then where I just don't really feel like creative or wanting to like talk to the camera or whatever. I've kind of been in like a really weird mood over the past week, like a lot of like, I don't know, I think I'm going through an evolving phase or a growing phase or like, I'm not quite sure. I'm kind of in the process of figuring out like what is going on. There was just a full moon and David was out of town so the routine was kind of off, the schedule is off. I um, have been reading this book, it's called Nonviolent Communication. It's basically about teaching you how to communicate in a compassionate, productive, understanding way. Um, how to use feeling words, how to express yourself, um, stuff like that. So I think that reading that book is making me kind of dive into myself a little bit more and it can just bring up some things, you know, like when you're trying to become a better version of yourself, I just think it can bring up a lot of anxiety or irritability or judgment or looking inward, looking at your life. And so that's kind of where my head's been at over the past week. Um, and I'm in the process this week of trying to like ground myself back and do a lot of self care and get back to a routine so that I can just feel my best and keep reading the book and keep working on myself. But I think, yeah, all of that just kind of threw me for a loop for a, a minute, but it is Monday and I just pulled up to Massage Envy to get a facial. So that's how we're gonna start out the week. I went to a Pilates class this morning and even though throughout the class I found myself again super irritable today, um, I did it and the result was that I'm feeling a lot better every time I work out or do a class, even though if like while I'm doing it, it could suck or like I'm not in the best mood sometimes, um, you always feel better after moving your body. Um, so I'm gonna do the facial and then probably go over to Trader Joe's afterwards, depending on how crazy my face looks. I haven't, I didn't get a facial last month. Um, so I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of extractions going on. But my regular facialist um, doesn't work today, but I needed to get the appointment today because I have other appointments later on in the week. So I'll have a new esthetician today and I'm hoping that I like it. And I like the facial and I like her. Anyway, um, I wanted to just give you guys like a rundown of where my head's kind of been and why I, there's probably like a week between vlogs. I just really wasn't feeling up to it. I'm gonna go ahead and head in. I need to use the restroom and I think I'm supposed to be in there like 10 minutes early anyway. So yeah, I will pick up my camera afterwards. Okay, I just got done with my facial and it was so nice. The lady who did it was really sweet. And it was funny because I just went to Glen Ivy Hot Springs in Corona. It's a spa, like a day spa. Um, and she said that she used to work there. I wouldn't have even known what she was talking about if I hadn't just gone this last week. And it's funny because I normally go to the same facialist that I've been going to for like over six months now. So I just think it's like interesting when those things happen. Um, when there's like a connection of something you just did or you know about and then something else kind of switched that lined up to where like you're talking about something. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but it was just interesting. <laughs> I'll just leave it there because of my brain. I don't know if I can explain what's going on in my brain. Um, my facial was really good. And this is the first time I've left without like tons of red spots all over my face. She did extractions, but her extractions were super gentle and there weren't a ton. She just did, uh, focused on my nose a lot and then had a few spots. I don't know if it's like, maybe my skin just looks better and I didn't need as many, but the facialist who normally does my facials, like she does a ton of extractions and they're like pretty painful. <laughs> um, so like, I don't know. I really enjoyed this lady a lot and I'll definitely go back to her again. She did a really great facial and she was very like just calming and we had like good conversation. I really liked her so that turned out well. I'm gonna head over to Trader Joe's now, brought my grocery bags and just pick up a few things that we need. We need some like uh, fresh fruit, 
some more stuff for salads, some vegetables, just to different things to make a bunch of healthy meals this week. And then for the rest of the day, once I go home, I need to um, fold a bunch of laundry. I did like three loads of laundry yesterday, but I didn't get to putting them, like folding everything and putting it away. And I just need to clean up the house. The house kind of feels like super just dirty right now and I need to clean up so that I can like be in a better state of mind when I'm like in my apartment. I cannot feel productive and like happy and in a good mood if the apartment is dirty and like there's chores to do and there's clutter and stuff. Like it just totally messes with my mindset. So I think after picking up some healthy groceries and going back and like cleaning up and stuff, um, that will be like a really great start to the week. As I'm editing this clip right now, all I can see is my belly. And I thought it was important to do this voiceover and talk about it because how silly is that? That I am focused on a bloated belly. After I just had a full breakfast, I'm satisfied. I just nourished my body. And I didn't know at the time, but I was just about to start my period. And it's natural to have a bloated belly. I always have to keep reminding myself because I definitely struggle with body image. I critique my body all the time. I look at my body in the mirror all the time, always thinking of ways like, how could I be thinner? Or how could I flatten my stomach? You know, all of those things. It is a constant cycle. Sometimes I don't think like that so much, but when I, you know, get into a mode where I'm like judging myself, picking myself apart, or I'm close to my period and I'm feeling sensitive. I really do pick apart my body and what it looks like. And I just have to constantly remind myself that my belly looks like that because I'm full, because I ate a nourishing meal, because I'm about to start my period, because I'm a woman and we all carry a little lower belly pouch to protect our uterus. That's what it's for. And my belly and that whole midsection is carrying all of my organs. And I just have to be easier on myself. We all have to be easier on ourselves. But I thought I would just share, you know, what I see when I'm looking at this clip. And if you go through phases where you feel a similar way about your body, hopefully some of the things I said will kind of help you just be easier on yourself and give yourself some grace. 
All we can do is try to have the most balanced lifestyle possible. And sometimes we're in a mood and a groove where that comes so easy and so naturally. And then there's other times where like you really have to work for it. And there are other times where you completely say, screw it, I don't wanna do it at all. But I think what's most important is to do things that nourish your body in a balanced way. Like eat your veggies and your fruits and go on your walks and you know meditate, journal, all of that. But girl, also have yourself some wine and a bag of chips and sit on the couch and watch Housewives if you want to. Like you have to have a balance. And there was a long time in my life where I did not have that balance. Did my body look incredible? Yes, I was more fit than ever, but was I balanced and happy in every other aspect? Absolutely not. And I see my body now, and yes, I see different things that I wish looked better, but I also see a woman who has learned balance and who has learned to love her body most of the time. Like I said before, I can definitely get in the modes where I'm picking myself apart. I feel insecure. I don't feel great about myself and I wish that I did look better. And then there's times where I'm confident as hell. But overall, I do see a woman who's grown a lot and learned a lot and learned to love my body bloat and all. Um, even though, yeah, sometimes that's, sometimes it comes easy and sometimes it's really hard. Hopefully, any of that, any portion of that made sense and you can relate to it. And yeah, just thought I would share those thoughts. I'll let you guys get back to watching the video. Don't forget to love yourself, be easy on yourself and you're beautiful. And you should love your belly and all of its amazing functions, especially a woman's body. It is so freaking incredible we should love ourselves and what we are capable of every single day. Okay, love you, bye. Good morning guys, it is 9.40 and I'm leaving Sprouts right now. I had to drop off, I dropped off Phoebe at the groomer at 9.15 and I have two Pilates classes back to back. The first one starting at 10. So I didn't necessarily have enough time to go home and like be there for very long. Um, but would also get to the class super early and I had to pee really bad and I needed like an energy drink. I always drink these Zevias, they're so good. If I'm not gonna have like Celsius, if I have an energy drink, it's these cause they're, I think like no sugar, just super clean. Um, and then I got a vegan superfood, super fruit muffin. Got one for me and then one for David to bring home for later. Um, I have been waking up, like my allergies have been so insane lately. And I woke up with like this uh, top lip swollen and I had hives like all over my thighs. I get them really bad around my thighs and I don't know why. It's very annoying. I took allergy medication last night and this morning and this one it's like, it's still going down. It's not super noticeable. Like, I guess it kind of is. It looks like I have uneven lip filler, which I do not. <laughs> um, but just that side of my lip got swollen. And the last time it happened, it was the left side. So it needs to be all or nothing at this point. I think I had mentioned in a previous vlog that Phoebe gets very, very anxious before vet appointments, grooming appointments, going to the boarding place. So the last time we took her to the vet, I had them prescribe her like a very mild anxiety sedative type medicine. I gave it to her last night because they said to give it to her 12 hours before she's gonna need it and then one hour before the appointment. So I did that. And on the way to the groomer, she was still a little bit shaky and nervous, but it didn't seem as bad. But I think once she gets in there, she's usually fine. But I did notice a little bit of a difference, so that's good. I didn't feel like as bad dropping her off, even though she did not want to be there. But she desperately needed a bath and her hair cut. And she just stays dirty. I think I've t touched on this topic multiple times before too. Like where we live and like living in a, the, uh, this city in general in my opinion unless you're like in a suburb with like lots of grass and trees that soak up some of the pollution and dirt 
where we live, we live right between a major highway and like our road is basically like warehouse district. So there's like tons of Amazon, um, you know, like supply buildings, um, tons of just like trucks and 18 wheelers and like all kinds of stuff. And it's just constantly dirty and dusty and you just feel gross, like <laughs> going out. And then y'all know me, I love to keep my place clean, but it doesn't matter how many times I mop or vacuum or dust, 24 hours later, it's all back from like the dogs going out, walking on the asphalt and the concrete and then bringing it back in. It's just like a constant struggle to keep a clean house. So Phoebe is white, obviously all over her belly and then she lays on the ground. And then when we take her on walks, like she's kicking up all the dirt on her stomach. So she just constantly is dirty. But usually with the shorter hair, it's better. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this muffin. I'm gonna drink my energy drink. And class starts in 15 minutes. Full disclosure, I already had one of these this morning, but it's only 120 milligrams of caffeine, which is like a little over a cup of coffee. So it's like having two cups of coffee. No sugar, no carbs, no nothing. I love this. Let's see what class I'm taking. I forgot. I'm taking a reformer flow 1.5 and then a center and balance class afterwards, which is like a stretching like recovery class basically. David call me, let me call him back. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Good, I just am parked outside of Pilates. Nice. Um, I was just calling because I got home and uh, <laughs> Sky was literally waiting at the door uh and then she was like super talkative and like high pitch like whining and stuff just like shouting at me like rrr, 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 rrr. like why the heck where's my sister why didn't i get to go what kind of adventure did she go on i want to go <laughs> i know i felt bad because the only way i could get phoebe to come to the door was to say like girls do y'all want to go somewhere so then sky got excited and then i had to leave her i felt so bad oh i know that's okay. I'll like walk her after we get back. Yeah. Well, and then the whole time I was home, while I was like showering and stuff, and then getting my uh, like excuses and stuff, she was just sitting like over by the door. Like she's laying next to the door right now, just waiting. I'm waiting for me to get back. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She was like looking at me, like making eye contact with me. Feels so bad. Like, she also has to poop. She refused to go this morning, but I know she had to. I even took her over to the grass area, and she just would not go. Yeah. So, that may have been why she was talking to me too. Yeah. She was like, "Hello, I didn't get to poop." Well, should have pooped this morning. This I morning. know. I sat there for so long. Um, but I'm taking two classes back to back. So there's going to be a reformer class and then, uh, oh, okay. well, the second class is just a center and balance class, which is kind of like a stretching class, but, um, I need to get going. I'm trying to like eat, I grabbed a muffin at Sprouts and an energy drink. So I need to do this. <laughs> okay. Love ya. Love ya. Bye. Hello. We are back in the car. Um, I went home after getting Phoebe. She looks so cute. I'll take a clip of her later she's so clean and her hair is like so short she looks adorable and had some breakfast and got ready really quickly i just did my hair is so dirty and i have to like wash it and stuff tonight so i just did like a slicked back bun my makeup is super minimal it took like five minutes and then i put on um a pretty cute outfit if i do say so myself i'll show you guys later hopefully i can get some pictures and some video because i'm in need of some content and this outfit's uh, photo worthy. It's a very cute, like running errands, going shopping, casual kind of vibe. <laughs> God, my allergies have been out of control. Uh, but I'm heading over to the antique store that we went to. I think it was the last video, like in the Riverside Guide. I didn't know what to call that video, but um, we did like all things Riverside. So 
Riverside Guide seemed appropriate. And I know when I was moving here and like looking for places to live and things to do and stuff, videos like that would have been very helpful. So anyway, that kind of went off topic. I'm heading over to the antique store we went to last time. Um, it was called Forget Me Not Antiques. I'm pretty sure, Forget Me Not. Um, and I wanna look for some bags. I remember them having a really great like bag and purse selection. And I want to get some cool like purses for some outfits that I'm bringing for my birthday trip to Scottsdale. Um, so it'd be fun to kind of mix in a different like pattern or color or something to make the outfits a little bit more unique. And if not like something cool and funky, I'm down for just like a basic bag too. So I'm kind of open to anything, but I just thought it'd be cool for like a couple of the dresses or outfits that I'm wearing to pair it with like a bag that's um, kind of like a different print or just like, yeah, it just brings a little bit more character and like a cooler vibe to the outfit. And if I come across anything else cool, I will definitely show you guys. Oh wait, look at this. Oh, he's going. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, he is putting on a show wow okay just found these vintage men's loafers and if you guys are paying attention to trends right now especially for fall loafers are definitely very much in style and these fit really well so I'm thinking about getting them very cute not for everyone but i love a loafer oh and this is the fit for the day so there's a Goodwill right here too. I guess I could always go in there as well. This place is so weird. Oh my God. Um, yeah, okay, so there's a Goodwill. There's another antique store right here. I wonder if I should go in there first, but it's already three. Forget me not, antiques actually looks like it's pretty decently busy. I have a question. What? I got those chairs and I don't know. What kind of thing is that? Let me see, where are you looking? Where's the chair? He's ready to bring out. What chair? No glass chairs. No, 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 what can you see? It is 103 degrees outside. And since I am committed to the content, I stopped at um, the park that we go to sometimes. And I have a little blanket, I have my tripod, my Bluetooth clicker, all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to attempt to get some photos done. Um, the only people at this park are men parked in their cars, just like sitting there, which is so creepy. So, you never hear from me and someone finds this footage I'm probably dead I probably shouldn't say that out loud either so I will not die I will be safe is there anyone behind me no we're good um, this is actually a really nice park but you know just doing anything alone as a woman can be terrifying so I'm gonna go up there to where the trees are and there's some shade so the lighting will be a lot better um, I wish I had like some cup or something like a coffee something like that. So that I could like look like I'm having like a little picnic or like something I don't know we'll make it work if it doesn't work out whatever we'll scrap the photos if it does work out that's great so wish me luck and I got some really cute stuff. So make sure you're following me on Instagram to check out those pictures. And I posted them on TikTok as like an outside 
park photo shoot idea. Yeah, they came out super cute, so check those out. Um, David is at Massage Envy right now getting a massage. And I think he's going to pick up Blaze Pizza. He asked if I wanted some, but I was kind of just feeling more like a salad tonight. So I am currently air frying some Beyond Meat chicken tenders. And then I have this spray mix here. I'm going to throw in some organic microgreens. And then I cooked up some of this roasted corn from Trader Joe's. And I chopped up some cucumber, tomato, and chives. And this will be my meal. I'm not sure what dressing I'm going to do. Honestly, the Asian sesame dressing by Annie's goes on everything. Like, it is so good. Let's do that because I know I like that. And then I'm going to have some multigrain flax crackers on the side for like something a little crunchy. Ooh. Perfect. Show you guys what we're doing. And then I still need to shower, wash my hair. I'm gonna self tan and stuff tonight. But I'm kind of waiting until David gets back because we might take the dogs on a walk. It's a ton of corn, but I just wanted to finish up the bag. And chicken. Probably gonna add a little cheese actually. I'm gonna add my favorite tree line cheese. This is the it's a creamy scallion one. Asian sesame. Oh, that's probably David. Okay, there we go. Hello guys, it is uh, Wednesday, August 17th, and I'm heading over to my lip filler appointment. Um, if you guys missed the first lip filler vlog, go back and watch that one. I got half a syringe of lip filler like almost exactly one month ago and I wanted to start with half a syringe because I've never gotten or I had never gotten lip filler before and I don't have a goal of like having big lips by any means but I just wanted them to look a little bit more plump and have a little bit more volume like from the side and just look more full and hydrated. Um, so. Obviously, this is a month later, and, it, and they take like two weeks to fully heal, so they've been like this for a while now, and I love the way that they look. Like, I think the half syringe looks really nice, and um, I'm definitely happy with them here, but I want just a little bit more volume to my lips and um, a little bit more definition, you know just a little bit more half a syringe of lip filler is such a small amount of lip filler so um, i'm glad i started small though just to test it out and see if i liked it and then today i'll do the other half so after today i'll have one full syringe of lip filler and i'm excited i'm way less nervous this time because i know what to expect and um i'll be getting a dental block where my entire mouth will be numb and I did that last time and I could not feel a single prick. Like I couldn't feel anything. Um, I basically just had to like watch in the camera her injecting my lips or else I like wouldn't know that she was doing it. So that was incredible. And if you're watching this and thinking about getting lip filler or you've gotten lip filler in the past and it was really painful, I highly recommend asking if they can do a dental block. At Skin Clinic Med Spa, they don't charge extra for it. So it just makes the whole experience like completely painless. So sign me up for that every single time. So I'll be doing that again today. Yeah, I'm gonna love this. I know. If I love the half, then this is gonna be like great. Good. It looks so good. 
Did you swell? You didn't really swell that much, did you? Mm -mm. Okay, so I did end up filling some clips inside. <laughs> um, I'm so, so, so numb. This side of my mouth like would not get numb because she injected me like three times. Um, and now I'm like extra numb, but they're not gonna look normal, normal because my face is so numb. So like my lips like aren't even coming together normally. <laughs> so bad. Okay, let me try to position them. So this is right after. Obviously super swollen. I'm like putting an ice pack on. Oh, they're gonna look so good. I can already tell. They're gonna look amazing. I cannot wait. Gorgeous. Okay. I will pick up my camera when I have feeling back in my face. Okay, so the numbing has worn off. It's been about two hours since my appointment. And this is where we are. They are starting to feel a little bit tender, but nothing that's not bearable. And they're obviously still super swollen. So tomorrow I'll actually be way more swollen than this. And then it'll take two weeks to fully heal. But when I got the first half, um, after like three days, I felt like I was able to, you know, see a good difference. They were still a little bit swollen, but I could tell, you know, like kind of how they were going to look. So, um, yeah, that's where we are. I've just been putting away clothes, doing the dishes, having lunch, and I'm just gonna chill and watch Love Island. Um, I'm finally gonna wash my hair tonight. Um, it's been like over a week, I think, since I've washed my hair. And I actually got this uh, hair mask or like leave-in conditioner from Shea Moisture, and I think I might try that tonight, but I'm not sure. And if anything changes with my lips, I will pick up my camera, but yeah, pretty swollen right now. Okay, update on the lips. It's 8.45 now. Just got back from taking the dogs on a walk and they're pretty swollen and a little tender but not too bad um anyway i'm watching love island us while david showers and i'm gonna go shower but um i was gonna wash my hair tonight but instead i decided to do this shea moisture jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner with shea butter peppermint and apple cider vinegar. My hair could desperately use a treatment like this, so I've already done most. It smells really nice, but not like a fragrance, like chemical smell. It smells very natural. And Shea Moisture is like one of the highest rated um, like hair and you know body products in general, because like their ingredients are super clean. Um, like not toxic and yeah so I got this and then I got a body wash that I've been using for the past like three or four days incredible it smells so good it makes your skin it feels so soft and then I also got like a body lotion and just love their products and I use the Shea Moisture conditioner as well so yeah I'm just like soaking my hair in this stuff so oh this is gonna feel so good i love this like super moisturized feeling and then like slicking it up like in a bun on the top of your head nothing better okay i will let you guys know how this feels in the morning and show y'all how my lips are doing good morning um today is thursday august 18th this is where we're at with the lips pretty swollen but uh Actually not as bad as I thought they would be. I thought they would be like bigger than this. Um, and just like a little bruise and stuff. But I'm gonna put on some Arnica that helps with the bruising and the swelling and um, just keep icing them throughout the day. So not too bad and they don't really hurt. So that's good. Um, but I just made some breakfast. And one thing about me y'all, I go in on breakfast. I also started my period yesterday, so I'm trying to have as many foods that are like optimal for this time and like super nourishing and stuff. And then the bread with butter and jam, that's like a little treat on the side, but I have some soy 
um, yogurt, some granola with a bunch of different seeds and stuff, uh, pumpkin seeds, and um, another kind, I can't remember. That's really good for you. Blueberries are good for you, walnuts, and then some agave nectar, and then two Vital Farms eggs. That's what I'm gonna have right now. And I'm just gonna chill today because I'm obviously not gonna leave the house with this face. The other thing I wanted to do in this video is show you guys all the stuff I got at Target the other day. I think I mentioned doing that yesterday. I'm not sure. Um, I need to wash my hair. I still have that mask in and my hair soaked up every last bit of it. Like all of this feels like pretty much dry. <laughs> like it just soaked it up. Um, so I'll wash my hair, um, wanna shave, exfoliate, all that jazz. Um, but I'll do like a little Target haul here in a second after breakfast. Okay, I just made a little iced coffee and I figured I would go ahead and show you guys the stuff I got at Target because I got a lot of great stuff. Some things I've used multiple times and can definitely recommend to you. And then some other things I've used just over this past week that I feel like I can already recommend to you. Um, so of course I did, which I still have in my hair right now and I really need to go wash it, but it feels so freaking good to have my hair so moisturized. I have the Shea Moisture leave-in conditioner, amazing. Um, I am curious though how my hair will feel once I like wash it and stuff. I'm sure it'll be great. But I have done leave-in conditioners before where I there's just a ton of residue left in my hair. But I guess that's more my responsibility because I need to like wash it more thoroughly. So we'll see, but I'm assuming it's gonna be great. Sticking with Shea Moisture products, this body wash, you guys, oh my goodness if you see this absolutely pick it up it is so freaking good it smells incredible not overly fragrance just like that hibiscus flower smell and like the coconut is exceptional and your skin feels so soft i freaking love using that and then i've been following that after i get out of the shower with this lotion which is also incredible. It's the Raw Shea Butter Hydrating Body Lotion with frankincense and mirth. Oh my gosh. This is like, especially since I live in Southern California, it is so dry and it's the summer and like this makes you feel so hydrated, but it doesn't give you that feeling um, that some lotions do that are like super thick. Like we have a Cetaphil lotion and it's so hydrating, but it kind of leaves me with like this almost greasy kind of feeling where like in my sheets, it can be like a little uncomfortable, almost like I feel like it makes me sweat or something. I don't know. It definitely feels good and it's super hydrating, but I just don't like going to bed in it. For some reason, it's like uncomfortable on my skin under like the blankets, but this, holy crap, so hydrating. So like this combo, my skin has been feeling so freaking soft. I love it. Next, I got this Kristen S. Signature Finishing Hairspray. I love Kristen S. I've talked about the products that I use from this line so many times. I have like the hair serum, the texture spray. Um, absolutely love this. I used it the other day for like a slick back bun. Works really well. Um, it's not super, super strong though. It's a medium hold. So it de definitely like gets your hair where you want it to be. And I don't really like on my hair like a super strong hairspray hold. I like to still kind of be able to work with it. So this is great. This would be great for like curls, waves. Um, I haven't tried it for that yet, but since you can still kind of work with it after, it's really good. Then I got this Eco Tools um, makeup brush and sponge shampoo. It's fragrance free. Uh, which I love and I have not cleaned my brushes in so long so I am looking forward to you know, so I'm looking forward to using this this battery is gonna die um, okay David actually I told him I needed one of these and he picked up four maybe they were like a good price I don't know but the elf holy Tr hydration face cream is exceptional so freaking good absolutely love this i know there's been a lot of hype about it and it deserves all of it so stocked up on that um and then i just got some ardell ardell i got some ardell naked lashes um but i plan on just cutting these and putting them like on the ends of my lashes 
I got the e.l.f. Big Mood Volume and Lifting Mascara, a waterproof one. I got the Wow Brow Tinted Gel by e.l.f. in the color Taupe. Total Face Sponge, way cheaper than that other brand. I don't know what it's called. But like the popular like Beauty Blender, I think it's Beauty Blender. Way cheaper and works just as good. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I got the Soap Brow. I got some like little facial razors. These are so good. Um, I haven't tried this brand specifically, but I love facial razors. It makes your skin so smooth, great for exfoliating, getting all the peach fuzz off, and doing your skincare after like doing the shaving of your face. So good. Um, I got a new like contour brush, like powder brush by e.l.f. I got a hair food smoothing hair mask that I plan on using at some point. I could probably actually use like half one time and half another. It's avocado and argan oil, sulfate free, paraben free, dye free, cruelty free. Guys, if you have dogs, oh my God, this waterless no rinse shampoo by Wall. It's um, coconut lime. Holy crap, it smells incredible. Like I wanna put it on myself. Um, smells so, so, so good. And then I got a new brush, just a Conair brush, and it actually came with like a little mini. And I've been using it on Phoebe when she like, before I shaved her hair off or had her groomed, cause her hair is like human hair. And that brush worked so good for her. And this brush I used for the first time last night, and it was really nice. And then I got this Cantu brush. This is for like slicked back hairstyles, buns, things like that, and I used it to do a slick back button yesterday and the day before and game freaking changer love it and it was like three bucks and then lastly i got this cute little corset top and it was on sale for 750 and it's so cute it's not see-through right here so you can definitely wear it like as a top with like jeans trousers like a blazer oh so cute so that is the target haul um, I'm gonna go ahead and close off this video. My battery is gonna die any second. But I hope you all enjoyed it and make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.